Am I a little crooked or am I, I'm not, I would like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where today we are continuing our series on the proper use of hand tools. And today we are going to discuss the RX or prescription aligner. Oddly enough, a little like our PD stick, which we never use to take PDs, this RX aligner never really has much to do with aligning RXs but it sure does have a lot of other great uses. I'm gonna hit a couple of high points and kind of show you what I use it for and the points that I look at when I'm using it as a reference tool. Let me start out by saying that I love this tool. Because we're working with a millimeter grid, I'm gonna use stills instead of video. I think it's just gonna work better for this. I would rate this as a must have tool for any optician. The combination of the grid and having a level base to hold the frame against make it an indispensable tool. I really like this tool for checking lined bifocal heights and it just simply works great for that. Uh, not only verifying the height but also the alignment and if you ever have any height discrepancies this tool will bring them out really quickly. It provides an easy to read reference point and here you can see a nice 14. Do be careful if you have a plastic frame, particularly the thicker the plastic is in the eye wire, you may need to subtract a millimeter or two to make sure you have the correct height. I've always found this tool the most helpful in analyzing rimless eye wear. I cannot count the number of times I've used this to confirm my suspicions that the holes on one lens were not symmetrical to the holes on the other. Simply hold up the glasses and look carefully here here, here, and here. Although a little bit hard to visualize, what you want to pay particular attention to is how level the holes are. Uh, you may need to compare the job to the demo set to be sure which side is correct. Generally, they are level on both sides, so if one is rotated around the 180, you probably have a problem. The grid is also great when checking standard alignment. Make sure your lens or frame is properly placed against the base and check all the areas shown. Here you can see that this frame could definitely use some work. Notice that 26 is covered on the left, but fully exposed on the right. Notice how crooked the bridge is. For more on standard alignment, head over to the Optician Works website. Using the center line as a reference, you could use the tool to check PDs and heights on lenses that have been marked up. I'm not sure why, probably just a habit, but I prefer a progressive layout chart for that. I'm sure this tool has other uses as well, so I strongly recommend that you get one and practice, practice, practice. Thanks as always for watching this. If you're watching me on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. Watching me on Facebook, be sure to share it with other people. And never forget that the videos are only a small part of the big picture at OpticianWorks.com.